The steel quonset structure does not really achieve its design strength until it's grouted in place. I started by vacuuming out the groove so the grout would stick properly. Then I used my skid steer to bring in the 400 pounds of Portland cement and numerous buckets of water. I had a lot of concrete to mix, so I purchased a 3 quarter horsepower cement mixer to speed up the process. I'll use that again many times before this house is finished. I also used my skid steer to bring in some nice sand and mix with the cement. Mixing grout from my own sand reduced the cost of the concrete mix by about 85%. Here you can see the groove that I needed to grout. The total volume is about 3 quarters of a cubic yard. At first I dumped the concrete directly from the mixer, but pretty soon I switched to dumping it into a 3 gallon bucket and then just carrying the concrete to where it was needed. Those other buckets are all filled with water that I brought with me to the site. My grout mix was a 2 to 1 ratio of sand and cement plus water until it was sticking well to itself and folding over itself in the mixer. I troweled the concrete one section at a time alternating between the inside and outside of the quonset and sloping it to shed water. Actually, even with my relatively stiff mixture, the grout was more self-leveling than I would have liked. I'd started this in the evening after work, so it was soon getting dark. I ended up doing most of the second side in the dark. Near the end I realized I was about to be about one cubic foot short of enough grout, so I started putting in some pieces of rigid insulation to make my last few buckets go a bit further. I ran out of cement with just about one gallon of water left over, just enough to clean my tools, and then I took the mixer barrel to the nearest car wash to clean it off with their power washer. Job done.